Hello everybody and welcome back to another Xenotic casting video. We have Tommy who is Japanese letters for tired versus Arch. And uh, let's go. We are on Blood Run and we're going to be over watching Arch. Who's going to be getting the Mega and get a pretty good stack going. Tommy's got the mega armor but isn't gonna have the greatest stack but does have much better weapons that side of the map it does balance itself out when you get uh, worse weapons but better armor so Tommy able to do a bit more damage in that early starting fight beautiful timing there from Arch to be able to pick that up perfect positioning grabbing that forcing Tommy off of the side and absolutely brutal aim as Drainer says in the chat. Going to be stealing the 50 armor and a very nice steal there. I reckon that that should have only done about 15 damage to the 113. So only just able to pick up that 50 which is pretty nice. You don't want to do too much uh, extra damage to yourself. Then perfect is 99 so you can pick up the 50 and take no extra damage to your health. And we're in the middle of a big fight here. Tommy's going to be hiding, tries to blast her out but doesn't have enough health to deal with it. Gets taken out by his own blaster. Now rushing around. You can see the speed and movement of, um, of Archie's mouse. Just absolutely flicking everywhere, looking exactly where he needs to be. Plays an extremely quick game of Xenotic, which on this map is extremely good. Now just trying to control the map. And that's the other thing that Arch can do without having to relinquish control of the items. He can go and try and take everybody out with firepower. One of the trickier things to do really. Be able to chase people, follow them and follow the items and get into the position all at once. Tommy going to be coming through. Getting taken out by an absolutely beautiful shot. A bit of lag, but um, seemed like a very nice bit of movement there to hop across, pick up that armor. And now Tommy is back into this center room. So Tommy, a lot of people will get stuck in this room. It is a very easy room to get stuck in. There's some nice bits inside there, but it's a tough room to get out of if your opponent has better items and turns up there. If your opponent's kind of evenly stacked and you go in there, you're either going to come out evenly stacked or you're going to come out a little bit better off. But right now, Arch has a decent lead here, four frags, and can afford to take that death as Tommy brings it back up to zero. Takes a lot of damage there. Tommy putting out some very nice damage. Eight health for Arch. Doesn't want to go through that teleporter just yet. Fakes out the teleporter. There you can hear Tommy firing at the teleporter. Try and dodge that. Arch being careful. Waiting for that health regen. Wants to try and heal up a little bit. Grabs the mega armor. Or mega health, sorry. I think Tommy should have got the mega armor. I couldn't quite hear if anything happened. No, it's there, but Tommy's watching it. Does a good bit of damage onto Arch, but Arch is going to grab it. Probably evened itself out a lot. Arch takes a lot of damage in that fight, though. And Tommy is now definitely heads up in terms of armor. But Arch, I think, still probably has the better position. And certainly has better timing on the items than Tori. But Tommy waiting around for that. Mega health. Sometimes it works and sometimes you just get bombed out of it. If you turn up way too early. Now with not quite the right weapons to take this fight. Staying up with only two health. Probably the best thing to do there. Try and fake Tommy out. Make him think that Arch has much better health. And a much bigger stack than he actually does. And potentially would have made him leave just there. But it didn't quite work. We're now three to two. Beautiful shots from Tommy. He's pulling out the big necks here. Definitely pulling out big neck shots. Now, Archie's trying to play it safe. 
beautiful air shot. Doesn't quite make the second. Hiding in the corner. Grabs the beggar. Lovely shot rained down from the air right there. Ooh. Where's Tommy coming from there? He's coming from the bottom. He just misses out on the mega health. Archie's going to pick it up and going to win that fight because of that. Tommy's taking a good position. We're slightly over halfway through. And the scores are still very even. For the speed these guys were playing at the start, the score is extremely low. But they've both effectively been having full fights and then going and healing up. And we've been seeing about three three or four fights even between major items which is quite impressive beautiful timing there but Tommy's on it manages to do a good bit of damage not quite as much as he probably would have hoped for but still managing to find some shots Archie's taking a lot of very good items and really keeping control but Tommy's there or thereabouts and when you put yourself into a good position like that Tommy is playing incredibly well and here's where I think we should see Tommy even it up there it is and now Archie's on the back foot Tommy has the item control Archie's on the back foot but he still will know the timing of the items for the next time round but they've both just been and he hasn't got enough weaponry to actually get out of this room. You can see how much of a trap it is and why Tommy lost so many frags. I think three frags from the start were actually taken in that room there. So that's specifically where it came from. Tommy picking up another frag. Grabs the 50 and takes out Arch again. Taking a two frag lead which is pretty good for this current situation of the game arch is well ahead nice shot there from tommy but arch just doesn't have the position to be able to grab weapons and unfortunate fall down into tommy's path right there tommy would have just been going to get some armor maybe pick up the 50 health underneath the bridge And now there's two minutes remaining and Tommy is four frags in the lead, which I think is four frags maybe the highest lead we've seen in the game. I think there was minus, th minus one to three uh, frags. Arch is staying calm though. That's the key thing we can see here with Arch. Staying extremely calm and waiting for Tommy to be able to turn up. Even though there's only a minute and a half, still not panicking. Which you don't need to. A minute and a half, you think it's ten minutes. A minute and a half is actually quite a lot of that. There's still three major items. And one major item is certainly enough to turn this game around. Especially on a map as fast as this. Gonna take Tommy out. It's going to be very close though. Beautiful bit of movement. Uh, I always think it looks extremely smooth. Oh wow. That was a random spam rocket that connected quite well there. I always think it's very smooth and nice movement when someone jumps and then blasters. And it just keeps you that, that jump height for a little bit longer. Which lets you get onto some nice... Nice little places uh, very cleanly without hitting the roof. That jump there. If you just did a normal blaster jump, you would hit the roof. Beautiful shot there from Arch. We have 20 seconds left and Arch has evened it up. Finds the frag. Tommy's got a decent 
chance here. He's got to not panic, even though there's only 10 seconds left. That is the key thing, I think, with all of this. But that is definitely going to have it off for Tommy. And Arch is going to take this one. 11 to 8, your final scoreline. GG, and thank you for playing. Thank you, Arch, for sending this demo in. Hit me up. I am MX Craven on IRC, and we will be able to find some way to send a demo over. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you. Shit, I just hit my bin. In the next one.